In the present era, India finds itself among the world's developing countries. The stark fact that most of our population does not have even hygienic home and environment, habitations are filthy and teem with diseases due to improper sanitation. Adequate clean potable water is a scarce commodity. Tremendous efforts are necessary to convert the habitation into healthy, sanitary surroundings. The major basic problems relate to improper treatment of waste, especially human excreta. This also leads to heavy pollution of drinking water sources. Prevention of water pollution and water purification methodologies also are important. Sanitation activities would involve appropriate methods for treatment and recycling of various types of waste. In these activities, human night soil treatment demands a priority. Gram Safai has remained a distant dream. Many efforts for improving sanitation are being made by governmental and non-governmental agencies. These efforts have somehow been inadequate in giving the desired results. In India, with encouragement from Mahatma Gandhi, late Appa Sahib Patwardhan, Gandhiji's trusted lieutenant, worked intensively with dedication for the cause of appropriate low-cost sanitation technologies since 1928. Taking inspiration from his visionary work and in his memory, Appa Patwardhan Safai Va Paryavaran Tantra Niketan was established with the objective of R&D, training, consultancies and project implementation for promotion of sanitation. Our preventive medicine professor, Dr. Atalanwala, impressed on us that curative medicine is not the real solution for the health problems in the country. He insisted that we should be more particular about preventive measures as far as our country is concerned. When I actually came to the field and I started conducting outpatients department, I noticed that what he said was really very, very reasonable. What is important for our country is the management of waste, all four kinds of waste, human excreta, animal excreta, garbage and sellage, the improper management of which is responsible for most of the elements in our country. The appropriate technology would depend on the technologies which would be suitable for the situation in our country. So we started with first activity of research and development in the field of sanitation. The second problem was that the manpower which was necessary for managing these issues in our country was also very meager, sufficient quantity of trained personnel in this kind of appropriate on-site management, low-cost technologies was not available. People didn't uh, know anything about it. Therefore, this training of manpower, human resource development, and educating the masses was a problem. The third thing would be to provide for pilot projects which would give a demonstration effect to our efforts. In some places, a definite progress has been achieved. It would be worthwhile to analyze the experiences and experiments so that some strategy could be evolved to meet the challenge concept of total sanitation. It is not a short-term target-oriented program, but a continuous process over a period of several years and will continue till a goal is reached. Attempts have been made to achieve a total attitudinal change as regards the treatment of waste and not merely the construction of the targeted number of latrines. This should lead to establishing environmental sanitation facilities for all types of waste. Achievement in Dehu Village Dehu is a village located in Pune district of Maharashtra. It has a population of about 10,000 and has about 
1200 houses. In Dehu village, a vigorous campaign was undertaken over the past few years through which till the year 2000, nearly 800 two-pit or aqua privy latrines, nearly 100 latrines attached to biogas plants and nearly 100 latrines attached to only night soil based gas plants have been constructed as family owned facilities. In addition, about 40 public latrine seats are available in the village thus taking the number of sanitary latrines till the year 2004 to nearly 1060. The village panchayat is actively playing its role in the program. With this program, nearly 90% of the population of Dehu village has been covered by sanitary latrines. Dr. Mapuskar and Sarpan Nihanathyani have been proud of the local त्यांची त्यांनी संडास स्वतःच बांधली पण लोकांमध्ये प्रचार करून घरोघर जाऊन सांगितलं मीटिंग घेतली कमिटी त्याच्यातून तयार केली ना नफा ना तोटा मध्ये आम्ही गटार स्वच्छता मोहीम घेतली होती त्यामध्ये अनेक मंडळाचे कार्यकर्ते सहभागी झाले होते गावामध्ये त्या दृष्टीने लोकांमध्ये जागृती केली लोकांना विश्वासात घेऊन गावामध्ये आरोग्याच्या दृष्टीने गटार साफसफाई केली आणि त्यानंतर गावामध्ये घरटी संदर्भ बांधने चाहिए दृष्टि नहीं लोका मधे जाऊँ अमी अनेक प्रयत्न के लिए वो त्यागूल अम्मचा गांव मधे बहुताऊँ शी घरा मधे संदर्भ शी डाले ले आए त्याग दृष्टि नहीं अम्मचा गांव ही तसो आरुके चाहिए दृष्टि नहीं आती शे महाराष्ट्र मधे प्रगति पता हो रहा है त्यागूल गांव मधे डॉक्टर लो पहले स्त्री सरपंच से यहाँ गांव ची, आम चाहिए था स्वच्छता मुहिम नहीं मिला बता सकते, स्वच्छता मुहिम ला आम चाहिए डॉक्टर मापुस्कर साहब, अक्षर शायद अन्य संडास मुक्ति सा जो कार्यक्रम अखले ला है, तो कार्यक्रम ते स्वता पाठे चार ला उठता, नदी किनारे जाओ नुवे रहता, नदी किनारे जो संडास ला वसेल, कहीं आमित अंचावर दंडे आकर तो आता तो सराहिले ला नहीं इतुन मागता सो होता आता आम चाहिए था भरपूर संडा से झाले ले आये आम चाह कर कहीं गांव चाह कमीटे ये तर संडा सब दल आम चाह डॉक्टर मापुस कर साहेब हे मार्गदर्शन इतका सांगल करता ता आम चाह दिहु गावत डॉक्टर मापुस करने संडा स्कीम ही सांगला पद्धति this by itself is a major achievement. Now, awareness and motivation for the use of latrines and acceptance for the use of biogas from night soil and manure exists in the village. People are now constructing their own latrines without waiting for subsidies. Further, an intensive night soil based biogas plant program has been undertaken in the village with the ambition of totally eliminating open defecation by providing latrine facility to each and every inhabitant in the village. Thus, village night soil will be recycled to give manure and biogas energy, besides achieving all the other health and environment benefits from sanitary treatment of night soil. The village panchayat is quite active. The bulk of its staff is for village sanitation and a major share of expenditure is on cleanliness in the village. This is exceptional. Villagers are also conscious enough to voice their dissatisfaction if some area is neglected. The village has more than 8,000 running feet of surface drains which are maintained by village panchayat staff and volunteers from Tarun Mandal. Dustbins have been provided. The village panchayat collects and composts this garbage. The manure is sold by auction to the farmers. Most of the cattle owners have biogas plants in which cattle dung is recycled. The village has filtered and chlorinated piped water supply. The efforts continue so that the progress is maintained. Initial development, stepping stone to success. In 1960, there were no family-owned sanitary latrines in Dehu. 
it only had about 10 basket privies or dry latrines and about 16 seats of public latrines recently constructed through the CDB program. The work began in 1960 but slowed down initially due to technology problems. Now it is continuing till this day with a proper design, Appa Sahib Patwardhan's Sopa Sandas. A fresh attempt was made for the construction of latrines. A few more with revised designs were constructed. Intensive IEC, that is Information, Education and Communication efforts. A massive awareness campaign was taken up. In this campaign, various mass communication methods such as group meetings, slogan writing, posters, displays, announcements, leaflets, handouts, prabhat fairies, Mahila Mandal meetings, stage shows, slideshows, films, etc. were used. In order to emphasize the relationship of sanitary disposal of human night soil and the prevalence of diseases, a feces or stools examination survey was done. The survey revealed that 84% population, irrespective of age and sex, suffered from worm infestation. The villagers were shown under the microscope the helmets ova from stool samples and from village street soil samples. The villagers were convinced that open defecation had a relationship with disease pattern in the village. All these efforts created awareness in the village as regards the necessity for the use of sanitary latrines. Implementation Methodology A strategy of cooperative effort by the beneficiaries was adopted. A latrine construction committee was formed. This committee plans and coordinates the construction work. The technical guidance and overall supervision was provided by Jyotsna Arogya Prabhudan. The work was done on a no-profit, no-loss basis. This method of community participation in the management process proved very useful. In fact, it was expected that the beneficiary supervises and participates in his own construction work. Appropriate Design Variation the design was modified wherever necessary to suit the available space, keeping in mind the basic principles of the design. The dictum was, if you can accommodate a kitchen in your home, you can also accommodate a latrine. Night Soil Based Biogas Plant When these examples were set up, the concept of biogas from human night soil was accepted by the community more and more families came forward for the construction of night soil based biogas plants. A novel way of extending the latrine facility was experimented with. The owner constructs the biogas plants with latrine. He allows his neighbors to use the latrines on a pay and use basis. Thus, the owner receives maintenance charges biogas as a fuel and manure. The owner virtually earns money by constructing a biogas plant and latrines. The user gets the facility and the village benefits by reduced open defecation. This method started picking up rapidly. Family owned latrine, a norm. The concept of use of sanitary latrines has now taken firm roots in the community. They are not much bothered about whether the government would subsidize their latrines or not. The emphasis is on family-owned latrines. त्यातील शंभर दीडशे लोक आमचा बायोगॅस संडासचा वापर करतात व त्यामुळे आम्हाला बायोगॅसची सोय झालेली आहे त्या बायोगॅसमुळे आम्हाला भरपूर फायदा व चांगल्या प्रकारे उपयोग होतो त्याच्या कसलाही घाणरडा वास येत नाही व कुठल्याही प्रकारचे वेगळे जळण आम्हाला वापरावे लागत नाही चूल स्टो किंवा सिलेंडर गॅस या कुठल्याही प्रकारचा आम्ही वापर करत नाही फक्त बायोगॅसवर आमचे पूर्ण स्वयंपाक सर्व होतं त्यामुळे आम्हाला महिन्याचा सहाशे रुपये खर्च आमचा दर महिना वाचतो त्या आम्हाला कुठल्याही प्रकारचा त्या खर्च नाही व कुठल्याही प्रकारचा धोका असे काहीच प्र तक्रार वगैरे काहीच नाही आहे वीस वर्ष आम्ही चांगल्या प्रकारे त्याचा वापर करतो अदर सॅनिटेशन फॅसिलिटीज 
the village is also keen on treatment of other wastes like wastewater and garbage. Specific programs are taken up in these fields. Spread to other villages. Now the villages adjacent to Dehu are also showing progress in environmental sanitation. The message is spreading. Towards a sanitary village. It is expected that within a very short time the village would bid goodbye to open defecation. An initial development has rapidly turned into an exemplary success. Concept of Integrated Waste Management Mahir Vadu Budruk This concept was initially implemented at Mahir Vadu Budruk, Taluka Shirur, District Pune. Before implementation of this concept, the institution having a population of about 80 persons was facing various problems such as number one defective septic tanks leading to discharge of semi-treated night soil bad odor and thus providing congenial atmosphere for mosquito breeding and flies number two due to inadequate provision of soap pit the sludge was overflowing in the neighbor's farm making it uncultivable number three there was no proper arrangement for composting organic waste. The solution to these problems was suggested and implemented by providing night soil based biogas plant, collection of effluent from biogas and sludge in the underground tank and pumping this stabilized water in the overhead tank. which is being used for irrigation of the kitchen garden. We had a lot of problem with our septic tank. We were, uh, we were creating a lot of nuisance for our neighbors too. Our children and women were getting sick because a lot of flies and mosquitoes were around. It was at that time I heard of Dr. Mapuskar and his noble work. He came and solved our problem and now we are getting even biogas in our kitchen. We, we were also having a lot of problem with our um, uh, wastewater. We spoke to Dr. Mapuskar and he uh, has solved our problem and now we are reusing all our uh, wastewater for our gardening. Uh, we also were having a lot of problem with the waste materials and he solved our problem by building for us the vermiculture pit. And now overall I find that our children's health has improved. Whatever money we have spent in building such things, we have recovered from biogas and also uh, from our kitchen garden. Vermicomposting is resorted to for taking care of organic solid waste. Thus, not a drop of water and a particle of organic waste leaves the premises. A novel way of using organic waste like vegetable market waste was undertaken by APS PTN at Gultekri Market Yard in Pune. This waste is used on site in a biogas plant established for generation of biogas. This gas is consumed as fuel in restaurants in market yard itself. APS PTN is capable of implementing total sanitation in villages. These have been our efforts for last few years. We know that these are the appropriate technologies which are mainly on site and low cost which will help us in improving the sanitation status in our country. If the sanitation and water supply conditions in our country improve, we are sure that we will be travelling towards our ultimate goal of health for all in all the individuals, all the citizens of this country and India will in due course become a healthy and prosperous nation in the world. Our organization possesses technical expertise 
in biochemistry, civil engineering, administration, educating the masses, medicine, preparing project reports, and supervising projects. We have successfully executed projects in other districts in Maharashtra as also in states like Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, etc. Appa Patwardhan Safai wa Paryavaran Tantra Niketan has done a good deal of work, but we are not complacent about it. Our march continues towards total sanitation, hand in hand with the community.